Hi, my name's Mitch Edwards, and I'd like to share with you how to get perfect pork crackle every time. I have here a pork loin roast with the rind on. Now, in preparing your pork loin roast, the first thing you need to do is remove it from the packaging, place it onto a plate that's been lined with paper, and pop it into your fridge overnight or for around 24 hours. What this does is, it helps to dry the skin out. You have to always remember that moisture is the enemy to getting good crackle. So this pork roast here has been in the fridge for 24 hours, so the skin's quite nice and dry, but just to make sure it hasn't picked up any extra moisture, I'm gonna pat it dry with some paper towel, and that'll pick up any extra moisture that might have come to the surface. Now I'd like to talk to you about making sure that your pork loin roast is perfectly scored. Because the scoring is what will help you get that crackle really working well. I would advise to ask your butcher to pre-score it, but just check that when you look at the crackle, that actually the rind can pull apart in the scoring. If it's just been scratched on the surface, it will actually hinder the crackling process. So this one here, I'm just going to take my retractable blade knife and just deepen a few of these scores so that I can get more crackle coming up. And being careful not to cut the skins while I'm doing that. Perfect. So now for the big secret about crackle. Salt and oil. No big mystery, but it's what makes it work. So with this, we're gonna get our hands involved. We're going to smother it in oil, rubbing the oil into the, into the roast, making sure it's all nice and deeply in the roast. And then we're going to put on our salt. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt here and rub it, rub it in, so I get that, working it in well, so I get it into all those little score marks on the rind. And that should be just about perfect now. So it's well salted and well oiled. Now I should tell you, I've actually used olive oil. I wouldn't say you have to, but I just find for me, it tends to help with the crackle process. Now let's get this beautiful pork roast in the oven and crackling. And the third step to perfect crackle is 220 degrees for 20 minutes. Start crackling. Wow, that crackle is looking amazing. Perfect. So now we turn the oven down to 180 degrees, and we've cooked the pork roast for 45 minutes per kilo. It's already been going for 20 minutes, and this was about a kilo and a half roast, so we've got a little over an hour to go. So let's get it back in and get it finished off. I've got to say, the crackle's looking great. So once your cooking time is complete, just check how your crackling's going. Now, if it's not fully crackled, turn your grill up Preheat it to about 200 degrees Celsius and pop the roast in there for four to five minutes, but keep an eye on it because you want to make sure it doesn't burn. But as it turns out, ours is perfect. So it's time to serve it up. By the looks of that crackle, it's going to be a winner. But it's only right that I check a bit, isn't it, first? Perfection, enjoy.